Hello budgeters! It is time for the September 2018 budget report and uh, we use real numbers in these budget reports uh, just because um, we don't really have we don't have any secrets here but uh, I'll go ahead and jump right in. So uh, we carry over each month about eleven to twelve hundred dollars to pay for our first of the month bills. In September we carried over eleven hundred my husband was projected to make um, 1250 uh, He had a little bit of overtime that first week. That second week, uh, he was projected to make 1000 He had 93 over. The third week, um, he had to take a day off work. I was sick, and uh, he needed to help with the babies. Um, so that is why that paycheck is smaller. We might have, he might have actually even had to take two days off. I'm thinking it was probably, no, it was probably one day, but maybe a few hours short that week as well. And then his last paycheck, he got about $40 overage. So we were projecting to make $5,850 um, with those days off. We came in short at $5,697.42, which is about 153, <laughs> 153 under budget. Uh, for the most part, um, our tithing is fluctuates based on his paycheck. I don't really put it as um, higher or lower than projected just because it's a straight up tenth of whatever we make. Uh, mortgage was the same, car insurance the same. Our health insurance went up $50 and I just marked this in red to make sure that I put this in for September. Um, so our new health insurance rate will be $491. Um, so I didn't know when that was that change was happening. It did happen in September. So uh, that is what happened with that. Our Dominion Energy, we're super low on that. We projected $100. Um, we spent $2002. And I will use these numbers next year to kind of set my estimate on my budget for next year. Cell phones, we also came in under, I'll mark it in green for fun, since we did save a little bit of money there, um, like a dollar, <laughs> saved a dollar, <laughs> um, cable and internet was the same, water and utilities, this one kind of hurt us, um, is that for, about $40 over in water and utilities, we went about 20 over in groceries, that was a hard hit, um, and then gas, we also went over, uh, still just kind of figuring out. I think it's still kind of end of summer rates. Um, we also filled up my tank at the very beginning of this month and at the very end of the month. And my car is a gas guzzler. It takes like $50. It looks like about $53.49, $53.40, about 50, 50 bucks every time we fill it up. So... I had three Phillips, which was about 150, and then my husband is the commuter, and he had a bunch of Phillips too. Um, Murphy moved in moment. <clears throat> um, I my medication was off, and something happened, and I just needed <laughs> to go to therapy um, for 85 dollars, and then. Um, I think, I I don't even remember what happened, but something happened where um, I think my medication was off. We had, I was in between meds. Um, I'm dealing with postpartum depression. And uh, usually when my medicine's fine, it's not a big problem. But sometimes if um, something goes wrong and my hormones are um, out of balance, then I just need to... Uh, make sure I have my medicine in check and make sure everything's going on okay with my emotions there. So um, our Murphy moved in moment cost us $183.23. House repairs, um, we didn't contribute money. We also didn't spend any money. Um, our medical deductible, we're still saving up, but because we have a health share, um, I've been spending... We So what happens is we go to the doctor and then I pay out of 
pay with cash and then Liberty Health Share reimburses me a check back. So I've just been taking the cash out of our medical deductible when like my babies had a well check and then a, we had a cold um, checkup and shots. So um, once I get those checks from Liberty Health Share, I'll just put them back in the medical deductible section. Um, car, we didn't contribute anything because we had a decently healthy um, emergency fund built up. But then um, we spent $32 on a license renewal, $175 on car registration, $49.68 on emissions, which just means that we will start contributing again to that in October. Um, pet fund, we didn't spend any. Uh, yard care, we haven't spent anything yet. Electronics, we're still just bulking that up. My computer um, is probably not going to last for maybe maybe a year if we're lucky. And so we're just slowly kind of putting money aside. Uh, just if we have something go on there. Um, prescriptions and therapy. Um, so I spent, we did have... $85 of therapy, I think, for my husband at the beginning of the month. And then I also went in later on. Uh, so that left us with $12.27, which really we could have taken that $12.27 um, out of our Murphy moved in balance. But we know that we just had some prescriptions that will come out of this in, at the beginning of October. So it didn't make any, we just, it didn't matter. It was pretty much the same. Um... Children's needs, we didn't contribute anything because eighty one eighty nine is a pretty healthy stash of cash and we didn't spend any of it. So uh, clothing, we put 50 in. We had about 50 that month um, and we were driving to a birthday party and my son opened his bottle and spilled milk all over <laughs> himself so we had to buy him an emergency outfit at Target we spent $24.55 dental um we didn't spend anything food storage we didn't put in because we haven't spent but um food storage is going to be spent in October for sure uh anniversary and family vacation funds we contributed 100 in each haven't spent any of it Christmas we're starting to slowly get all of our Christmas um shopping done and I started um, in September, and I've done a lot now in October. Um, I bought $35.47 worth of gifts for my son Edwin and $11.30 on gifts for my son Willis. My Mad Money, um, I spent $15.82 for my book club book. Um, I had... Um, a little bit of birthday money over that I used to go zip lining actually on my sister in law's birthday, and um, what wasn't covered, I spent 504 out of my own mad money for a zip line extravaganza. Um, we ate out, and I spent $25 uh, just on a little weekend trip with the girls. I bought pants for $8.37, $11.78 on food again, and then I bought some fabric to make a Christmas quilt, and that came out to be $25.76. And so my remaining balance of Mad Money is now $62.58. I'm kind of half-heartedly trying to save up to $500. Um, there's talk amongst my friend about doing a girls' trip in um, March, April, May, somewhere around that time. I don't know how... Um, uh, how true that will be if it actually happens or not, but kind of half-heartedly trying to save as much as I can. But I didn't feel guilty about spending it on experiences because I actually went on the trip, so I spent some mad money. Um, I had an overnighter with my sister-in-laws, and so spent some money there, and I didn't feel super guilty about that. Um, house wants, we had $40 in here roughly, and um, I... Spent $39.22 on some cleaning stuff. It wasn't necessary cleaning stuff, which is why I got it out of the house wants section and not um, my grocery section, which is where I normally buy all of my household products. But um, I wanted to make specific for each bathroom, like its own little bathroom cleaning station. So I bought some plastic bins and just some extra supplies so that each 
bathroom in our house had its own dedicated cleaning toolkit. <laughs> um, so again, not necessary. It was kind of splurgy, but um, I just wanted to have contained products in each section. And and uh, so yeah, that was why it was a house want and not a necessity. Birthdays and holidays. Um, we got some Halloween candy for eleven seventy two. Um, I think I I got my friend some meters for ten seventy four, and then I had a twenty one ninety six left in my birthday account that I just used when I went zip lining with my sister in laws. And um, eating out, <laughs> we did a lot of McDonald's pizza, sub sandwiches, Sonic. We do a lot of smaller purchases. Um, like six, between four and six dollars so that we can, um, go out more often. So, so we'll get like little ice cream cones here and there, maybe like a dollar. If it's five thirty nine, we probably got like four dollar cheeseburgers and a dollar hamburger and that's what we feed our family of four. I mean, four dollar cheeseburgers and a dollar french fry and that's what we feed our um, between me and my husband and my one and a half year old, that's what we eat. <laughs> um, and then we got a pizza. We went to a restaurant called Setabello's and we spent twenty five seventy one for a pizza. Uh, charity and impromptu giving. Um, this is still just in the negative from when my friend's mother passed away and we got her some flowers. Um, but we contributed into it and so that made our debt in this account $1.70. Um, my husband's mad money, he spent $11.49 to go to Betos, which is just, um, a Hispanic restaurant, a Mexican restaurant here in Utah. We have $20 in a family reunion account, which we're not super stringent about saving for right now because, um, it just seems like summer's far away and we don't have, our family hasn't narrowed down plans for a family reunion. We know every year that they have one, and it's always kind of, like, unknown what we do until a few months before, but we know we'll probably end up spending money, but because it's unknown, um, we just haven't been super strict about saving for it. Date nights, we had 100 that we contributed. Um, we probably had some money, I think we had some money left over from... August, which is where we spent a lot of this because we spent eighteen fifty nine. We went to a restaurant called Neaters. Twenty five dollars went to babysitting. We got a probably an ice cream from McDonald's. And um, we went to a restaurant called The Rising Bun, which was delicious. It was Asian food and it was so yummy. My husband got popcorn and we ate popcorn um at home and watched a movie one night. Um, we. Spent, my husband spent two dollars on golf tees. We've been golfing a lot. Um, we have just a punch card that lets us go twenty times a year right now, just to the driving range, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, we got we spent thirteen twenty nine and got some gelato, and we spent thirty dollars on babysitting. So right now we have fifty five fifty one left in that date night account. Um, our emergency funds, because we had some Murphy movement moments and my husband uh, made less money because we just had some illnesses going on, um, we weren't able to put the full 739 that we projected into our emergency fund. We did put $291.32, which makes our emergency fund balance right now $25,700.60. We're trying to get a goal of thirty-one thousand three hundred and fourteen and sixty cents. So we are about six hundred or six thousand. I wish we were six hundred. About six thousand dollars away from our goal. Um, and so that is where the month of September ended off. And I hope you guys are all doing well with your budget. Uh, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, I guess. I hope you are doing well, and we will talk to you later. Bye.